Good morning. Good morning. Today is October 2nd, 2022. First Sunday in October, Pantry Sunday, Creation Time 4, and Worldwide Communion Sunday. Please join me, welcome and greeting. Welcome in the name of the Christ. Welcome to this place of worship. Welcome to this place of blessing, this space of grace, and this holy sanctuary. We gather this morning to share in the word, the cup, and the bread, and to receive God's blessing that we might in turn be blessings to others. So be welcome. Be blessed. Be. We light this candle. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I'm very excited to announce that once again, we have a concert series at St. John's United Church. Our first concert is on Sunday, November 6th at 4 p.m. and features the Elmer Eisler Singers. They will be performing a new work by composer Timothy Corliss, a musical meditation that seeks to calm anxiety and reduce stress. And after the last two years, maybe we need a little bit of that. Um, Pat Morrison has tickets for sale. They're $20 each, and the church office will also have tickets for sale. Get them quick, because the Elmer Eisler Singers are always one of our most popular concerts. So we're very excited. Good morning. I would just like to announce that uh, Lini Brewer will be singing her final service with us uh, this morning. Lini has uh, sold her house in Alliston and is moving to Hamilton where her family is. And uh, Lini, we're going to miss you so very much. Lini is, uh, has been a huge benefit to our choir, our soprano section. She's sung in many very prestigious choral organizations in Canada. She's done all the Bach Passions. In fact, she even goes over to Europe quite often. And uh, on a moment's notice, she gets probably two or three rehearsals. And, uh, and then she sings with these prestigious choirs also in Europe. So she's had quite, quite a, a musical life. And, uh, her contributions to St. John's has been wonderful, and Lini, we're going to miss you so very much, but we wish you all the best in your new home in Hamilton. Quiet musical reflection.
call to worship from Psalm 104 in our hymn book, page 826, part one. If you have a hymn book uh, in front of you, please open the hymn book, page 826. <coughs> page 826, Psalm 104. Praise God, O oh my soul. Eternal God, you are great indeed. You clothe yourself with light like a garment. You spread the heavens like a tent. You lay out the beams of your dwelling on the waters above. You make the clouds your chariot and ride on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers and the flames of fire your servants. You fix the earth on its foundations so that it can never tremble. You cover the earth with the ocean as a cloud. When the waters covered the mountains, they fled at your rebuke. As the sound of your thunder, they took flight. They flowed over the mountains, ran down the valleys, to the place you had appointed for them. There you set limits not to be passed, that they might not remain over the earth. prayer responsibly. Holy and gracious God, we gather as seekers, lovers, disciples, and friends. We gather to give you thanks for the blessings of our lives and to replenish and refuel for the road ahead. We gather to learn the wisdom of your ways and feel the warmth of your love. Bless this gathering as we join together in wholehearted worship. Amen. Our opening congregational hymn from Voices United, number 226, For the Beauty of the Earth. The tune is the same hymn book, number 81.
set it. Mic is on now. Christopher, please come forward. There are four banners in this sanctuary. Can you recognize them, Chris? Banner, banner, yeah, four banners. And four, right? Right? One of them is called Creation Banner. By the way, as I mentioned, today is Creation Four Sunday. So one of them is called Creation Banner. Can you recognize? So pick one. Uh, come over. Yeah, just stand with and come with me. I think that your pickup is called a Pentecostal banner, if I say. But I think this is the creation banner. Have you noticed it before? Did anybody pay attention to this banner when you walk in? No? Okay. Chris, just tell me what you see. River, a lake, yeah, on the back of the, their shirt. Thank you, Lord. Two hands in the sky. Corn and pumpkins. Hmm? Town, yeah. Did you see the church? Okay. What else? Rainbow, yeah. Mountains. Did you see uh, snow on top of the mountain? Yeah. And thunder, lightning. Nice sky, moon, and stars. What else? A boat, yeah. Farmhouse. Did you see deer? De deer. Right under the trees. Right there. And a dog, right? Did you see, uh, did you see butterflies? Yes or no? Yeah, around the train. Oh, yeah. What about fruits? What kind, what, what kind of fruits they have? Pear, apple, grapes. Is pumpkin fruit? I just wonder. <laughs> oh, vegetable. Okay, thank you. What else do you see? Flowers, sunflowers, leaves. To tomato? Where, where is it? Oh, the red, two red one. Mushroom, yeah, right, there's two mushrooms. What, what's the little tiny uh, insect above? Does it look like spider? Be oh, okay. Did you, do you recognize a bird? You see a bird? No? Can anyone see a bird? A bird. Yeah, bird. It's like a... 
I think this is a bone. Can you see it? <laughs> what a <laughs> good. I just wonder who, who made this banner. Probably one of you or many of you. Can anyone know who, who made this banner? From Guatemala. So, just wonder this, this creation banner. What a wonderful and beautiful banner we have in this creation season number four. And there's a road in front of them. Can you make the name of the road if you like to? Any idea? A Chris Road or <laughs> you laugh? Pass pass to the Lord? Or pass of the Lord. Anyone like to put a name, the road, in front of the family? The way. The way? Yeah, good, good name. If I name it, I like to uh, say Wonder Road. Because life is full of wonder and beauty and love. <coughs> okay, Chris, thank you for your participation. And I don't think we have Sunday school today. Yes or no? No? So you can go back to your seat. Let us bow heads in prayer. Holy One, as we listen once more to the wisdom of your word, may we be fed both in mind and body. Help us open to your revelation of love and to receive your blessing with grace. Amen. Scripture reading this morning taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, verses 32 to 34. Do not be afraid, little flock, for it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, sell your possessions, and give alms. Make purses for yourselves that do not wear out. An unfailing treasure in heaven where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Amen. Today's reflection entitled Wonder to Wisdom to Wonder and Share is written by Reverend Trisha Elliott to celebrate the creation season. So I'm going to use her meditation for our gathering. Psalm 104 paints a picture. You can imagine the canvas being filled in as it moves along. The waters flowing through the mountains and the valleys, teams of fish swimming in it, animals drinking off to the side, the birds singing while they circle and make nests, the cattle in the distance grazing, trees providing shade, a sunset, people walking together peacefully, making wine, bread, and oil. The scene is so picturesque, so perfect, that the psalmist's heart is stirred. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live, he declares. Surely we've all had such heart-stirring moments, and the oil. Sailing in the many beautiful lakes, marshes, wetland areas, rivers in Ontario. It's certainly one of those for me. 
checking. Getting a glimpse of a gorgeous sunset. Another for me. Emily? Hiking the Bruce Trail along the Niagara Escarpment. So many times when we looked at God's good creation and our hearts have been blown away or blown open. In his writing, Plato said that contemplation and wondering at the cosmos leads the soul to God because all of creation is a reflection of the beauty of the divine. When we wonder at creation and are charged with the glory of God through it, our soul transcends time and space. We are totally present at the moment. Wonder transports us to the deep. Wonder is a portal to the divine. Maybe that's why Jesus talked about the extraordinariness of seemingly ordinary things. Why he took bread and turned it into communion. Why he took fish and turned it into revelation. Why he took a cross and turned it into redemption. Why he took a child and all of the wide-eyed amazement that filled a child onto his knee and said, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs. Why he gathered a group of people like you and me together and called us disciples. Yearning to wonder for me isn't escapist. It is not about escaping my inbox, my to-do list, my housekeeping. It's about being faithful. I wonder, I want to wonder so that I can be more engaged. How can any of us love something we don't wonder about? We are never moved to care about something we keep at, our, at, at arm's length. Psalm 104 not only wonders at the creativity of God, but it connects God's creativity with our own ability to be creative. This Psalm says that God causes the plants to grow and we cultivate them. We make the wine and bread and oil. It's a team effort. We are united with God in a mission to cultivate the wonder, to ensure the world is wonderful, to resist diminishing wonder by putting a price on it, restricting it, harming it, or polluting it. Over the next two weeks, we are going to contemplate wisdom on the journey and what it means to live a meaningful, God-filled life. We're going to listen to the wisdom of the Psalms in our sermons, and those great Psalms that have accompanied us for hundreds of years. Why? because Psalm 104 and the others we are going to hear aren't just quaint words we can imagine hung on a wall. They represent a vision for our lives and for the world. Verse 31 of Psalm 104 reads, May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. You get the sense here of how deeply the psalmist longs for God, the divine artist, to sit back from the canvas of the world and say, yes, this is how I envisioned it. Yes, it is good. It is very good. Artists never stop creating is in their bones. Likewise, God never stops creating. God's spirit beckons us into other wonderful filled visions of the world. Dreams of lion lying down with lambs, 
a promised land of a new heaven and new earth, wonder upon wonder to stir our hearts. Allow yourself to be wonder struck. Allow your heart to be stirred by the beauty of God. Allow your, your wonder to transport you to the deep places where the waters of mission baptize, cleanse, and refresh you to live your vision. Let God teach you to wonder. Let God teach you to wonder. Teresa Elliot's sermon reminds me a story which I'd like to share with you. Again, this is my, related to my daughter, which I tried not to mention her <laughs> for my sermon, but I have to. When she uh, was around four or five years old, uh, we traveled to Nova Scotia and back to home to West Liville, Newfoundland. Of course, in order to go to Nova Scotia from uh, Newfoundland, we have to drive through Porto Basque, the, the worst in our head from, uh, by Fiona Hurricane. And when she arrived, we arrived home, right after she just ran into her room, and there are, I think that time, around more than 100 dolls and toys in her room. And she just greeted every door. Hi, how are you? I miss you. Just each one of dolls she greeted. And animals, toys, 100. It took almost uh, an hour. As an, as an adult, what a stupid time, you know what I mean? But for her, just wonderful life, you know, wonder, wonder is there. For her, everything is a living creature. For me, just toy, mm -hmm. nothing but toy. But for her, just a living creature. So she can communicate with with hundred little things. I mean, it's a, that time I just wondered. I mean, I, as a as a minister, I preach every Sunday, standing behind this pulpit, deliver the message of God. But how how much how often I wonder the beauty of nature and beauty of God. So my question to me and to you this morning, what makes you wonder as an adult? What keeps you wonder in our days? There is a wonder to realize, wonder to actualize, wonder to share. There is wisdom in the sharing. Amen and amen. Our hymn from Voices United, 592, come now, you blessed. Choir is going to sing verse one, kind of introduction, and followed verse two, three, and four by all of us.
your love of and grateful for our blessings, let us take up our offering with joy and a generosity of spirit. The offerings are now being received, including a pantry box. Dedication in unison. Gracious, Gracious God, God, we pray that our offering this morning will multiply our blessings so that our neighbors next door and across the globe might be nourished in body, mind, and spirit. We pray that your reign of love and justice be made tangible and visible and that no one be left out of the banquet. Amen.
my body given for you. Each time you do this, remember me. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, passed it to his friends, saying, Drink this cup, and it's poured out for you. It's the promise of God made in my blood. Whenever you drink it, remember me. Even within the intimacy of Christ's table, we are unwilling to bear. We are afraid to follow in serving the God of God. Only after Jesus was crucified, rising on the third day, only then did the power of God's covenant sink in. In response, the sin of despair, rising into <coughs> hopeful anticipation.
and all the weapons. Please take the individual up. You take up the first plastic tree. Please join me. Let us pray for the Lord. Through communion with the Lord of Christ, we are ready to do what we have said on the dining table. We are remembered with your self giving. Through your joy spirit, we have been empowered from your name to go into the world to share your story. Thank you, O God, for the gift of such abundance.
share the blessing of God with our friends, neighbors, even strangers. Reach out, extend yourself, and let God surprise you. Be blessed and be a blessing this week and all your days. Amen. You may be sent.